Hi guys, Adam here from dartsreviews.tv in association with Dartsport TV and today is our first ever set of mission darts. We're going to start reviewing some mission darts now too. Uh, and today's set is the Komodo. So let's go and open the box. But it's funny really that the first set is about Komodo because it reminds me of when I went to Australia for a game of darts and on the way back I can't remember what country it was, but I stopped off and I ended up getting in a wrestle with a Komodo dragon. And we had a roll around in the mud and the dirt and everything. But anyway, he ended up becoming my mate. He moved in with me. Um, and yeah, we've been cool ever since, really. And he's a really good guy. I mean, his tongue's quite annoying when he drinks his tea. Like that. But apart from that, he's a top-notch guy. Right there, guys, here we go. Here's a closer look at the Mission Darts Komodo darts. Um, so, as we look at the box, first off, nice little uh, symbol there of uh, the Komodo dragon almost looking there. Uh, we've got 90 there to remind us that these are 90% tungsten barrels. Uh, mission symbol there and the Komodo symbol down the side. Flip the box over and just a little write up about mission there and just tell us what we've got inside the grip log shafts and 100 micron flights. So we'll open up the box and have a closer look. So as we've seen with some of the other mission stuff, they come uh, in this sort of plasticky uh, packaging here, but it's got this felt finish there. You've got the three darts in the mission um, point holder, and then you've got set three of the Komodo 100 micron flights. The, the shafts in these are the grip block ones that are the short ones. So we'll open them up, take one out. So these are the 24 gram dart. Uh, so the dimensions for those are 50 mil by 6.65 mil. So they're 24 gram, so about right for width, about right for length really. Um, straight barrel dart with a ringed grip but a little bit more and a bit of a twist to it but first off we've got the mission symbol just here at the rear and again the barrel tapers towards the uh, shaft there the stem that just takes away any lip there that you can sometimes get on the darts and then we go along the barrel here and we've got this ringed grip the grooves aren't too deep in there We'll come back to the rest of that in a minute. And then it's finished off here at the point with the traditional ball nose. So we're talking about this ringed grip. So what we've got is you've got the ringed grip cut all the way along there. But then on these, it's been extra cut. It's been cut again. So it goes back in, it goes back in and gets another cut. So what's happened is you've got the radial grooves all the way along here. And then it's remachined with this micro cut, which is lots and lots of almost like tiny, tiny, thin, uh, ringed grips all the way along there and it just adds a little bit extra grip to the dart when we run the barrel down it you can really feel it on there so we'll put the flights in and we'll go and have a throw all right then guys here we go we've brought the komodos overboard time quick 9 or 12 hopefully get some good scores here we go Ninety five. Saving myself for air last dart. Oh dear. 60. We'll have one more handful of these. Big score lurking. Alright, come on, come straight out of. Sixty. Right guys, we're gonna have a summary on this. Right there guys, so a quick summary on the Mission Komodo darts. Um, just a nice 24 gram straight barrel dart. The grip, I like that. Um, so the grooves weren't like too crazy deep. And then with that extra grip on there, uh, the extra finer rings all the way along there, along the barrel, it was just a nice little finish on the dart. The dart looked really nice as well. Uh, little tweaks, definitely for me, put a slightly longer stem in because when I was throwing them they were flipping in the air a little bit and I was sort of snatched them a little bit so just to give them that extra bit of smoothness through the air I'd maybe just tweak them with that um price wise 42.95 who can fault that for a price it is it's bang on isn't it what we're seeing a lot of the companies now with their sort of standard darts that are coming out 
uh, is sort of around the 40 quid mark or to the 50 quid mark. So they're bang on with price, nothing wrong with that. 90% uh, tugs and dart. The dart's not too fat and wide a barrel, too long. Uh, I can't really fault it. Grip rating, let's give it a free, bang in the middle. Um, so yeah, I cannot fault these at all. If you've got a set, because I think they've been around a little while, please, please, please leave your reviews at www.dartsreviews.tv or just sack all that off. Download the app, because I'm on there. We can say hi to each other, because there's this little section where you can ask me questions. Put your darts on there, put your review on there, because I want to see what you think to these. Please, please, please turn your notifications on, subscribe to the channel, leave a little like, because it's nice to be nice, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.